Hey kids, Mr. Golder here. Today we're going to be using the drill press to make one of these cool little Forstner bit cubes. And along the way we'll learn how to use the drill press in a safe and effective way. First thing we're going to do is take a cube of wood. Now we need to find the center of all six sides so that we know where to drill. How do we find the center of a square or a rectangle without measuring? Well, we take a ruler and we line that ruler up corner to corner. Take a pencil, trace across Here are the other two corners. Where those two lines intersect, that's the center of the square. Let me just quickly do the other five sides. Look at how fast my hands are moving. Whoa, one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, and six sides, we're done. Now, with all six sides marked, we're ready to drill. Using the drill press is fairly straightforward. We have the on-off switch. This is called the chuck that holds the drill bit. And we have a Forstner bit in here right now. In order to open and close the chuck, we use the chuck key. This is the crank which raises and lowers the chuck, which helps you drill your hole. You should always bring it all the way down and then all the way back up. Never just let it go, otherwise you can damage the return spring. Great thing about the drill press is there's really no reason your fingers should be anywhere near the cutting tool. A big one to remember though is to make sure you don't have long dangly hair that can get caught in the, in the bit. Now I've got something great with this particular drill press. I've got what's called a cross slide vise bolted to the deck. This way you can put your project in the vise like this, tighten it up like so, and then we can use these two sliders to slide the project into place. This way your fingers are nowhere near the project. You're not holding the project as you're trying to drill it. Now for this particular project, we're going to put a little plate below it so that it's got a nice flat surface to rest on. But it will depend on how big your cube is. If you were to make one a little bigger, it would probably fit in the vise on its own. I've got the project bolted into the cross slide vise. Now I'm going to bring the chuck down, paying attention to the point on the Forstner bit, and it's going to be lined up exactly with the middle of our X. I'm going to double check by eye just to make sure that the bit looks like it's the same distance from all four sides. Put on our safety glasses and we're ready to drill. Now the big trick with this particular project is to just drill far enough to drill the exact right amount on all four sides. Because what we want to end up with is the leftover material to be the cube that is left in the middle. And we need to get it the exact right size so that it won't, will not come out when you're finished. If you drill too far, the cube will be too small and it will slide out of the holes. For this one, I figured out that drilling just about the depth of the bit itself is about where we want to be. This will of course depend on how big your cube is and how thick your Forstner bit is. Well, let's give it a try. Then we're going to switch it out and drill the other five sides. And we're drilling pretty fast again. Here we go, number two, and then side number three coming up here, and then side number four, there it goes. And number five, we're going to drill a little bit, and then we're going to slow it down for the rest. Now with this side, the fifth side that we're drilling, 
you can actually see the bit coming down here and we just want to be real careful about how far we drill. We're almost there, we got one side to go. Now for this last side, I've made a little spacer. We're gonna put the spacer in the opposite side from the side we're gonna drill, because as soon as this cube breaks free, we don't wanna push it down and break the bottom. So I'm gonna slide that spacer in there, flip it over, stick it back in the vise, line it up one more time, and you'll see it break free. And there we go. We've now got our inside cube inside the box. Just a little bit of cleaning up with some sandpaper. It would be pretty cool. So now we've finished our Forstner bit cube and we can dazzle our friends as to how we got this smaller cube inside the larger cube as it doesn't come out. And that concludes our drill press video and how to make a Forstner bit cube.